Hey viewers, welcome to another game of Schedule Pro Gamer. Today we're doing the Rind Monkey for the job. And as you can see, this is normal speed because this one, yeah, this one deserves normal speed. It is an insanely difficult dif uh, daily challenge and I actually made it. And it's not that normally I can't uh, produce the answer, so I can't solve them. It's just that I don't want to. This one, however, was very creative because you can only use one monkey. You can sell them because it's on easy. Everything is relatively cheap. And yeah, I, uh, I had a good solution up till uh, round 46. Uh, I couldn't wait, make it work up uh, well on 46 because well it took me a while to figure out all of the waves that's what but at least once I did that uh, I was pretty stable up until round 46 I could make that work every single time with well varying degrees of success but you will see that anyway we're starting off with a two and one dartling gunner and then in round 28, we're going to switch to a two and one glue gunner. Watch the position. Well, in this round, it's not too uh, big of a deal, but you want that, uh, that, that circle, so his range to actually reach the entrance, but not to go over the entrance. And yeah, we will see him come back. Anyway, switching back one round later, this is round 29, uh, to the two and one dartling gunner. Round 30, once again to the glue gunner, uh, again two and one. Uh, even though I can afford more, I don't want more because when I sell it, I will lose more money if I invest more in it. And it is going to be very tight. Money is going to be super tight for one of the rounds. So you want to be as safe as possible. And yeah, you are going to lose some balloons every now and then, but that is quite all right. So um, switching targets here. And I'm going to pick up all of these if everything goes well. Yeah, try to pick up everything. Uh, if you lose one or two, it's not too big of a deal. But as I said, money is really tight in one of the rounds. So you do want to, uh, to do this correctly. Anyway, round 32, you want a glue gunner again. It is going to be two and two this time. So not two and one, two and two. Otherwise you will lose, well, right here. And that is no good. So the next round will be round 33, which obviously is a camo round. So you need something that can shoot camo. You can do it with the dartling gunner, but the dartling gunner is rather expensive. So we're going to take a cheaper solution and it is going to let some balloons through. Uh, I'm not actually sure what the best positioning for this is, by the way. So if you're trying this, you might want to do a different positioning. As you can see, I'm trying to figure out what a good one is. Already tried about three and they all were kind of crappy. So I'm going to go with this one. It is going to be zero and one and it's going to be set to strong because, well, I thought that might actually result in some better uh, balloon poppage, but it seems that I still lose quite a few lives. But as you can see, it's not too bad. 16 lives there. Um, going to sell it obviously because it's only useful for this round. And then round 34 we are going to go back to a glue gunner I think. Yeah we're going to go back to a glue gunner. So you might want to write this down before you're uh, you're doing this because well it is kind of difficult to remember. So this is the tied rounds. You want to go two and three on the glue gunner, but yeah, you don't have the money for it. So you're going to lose quite a few balloons just because you can't afford that. And obviously once you hit the two and three, it should all be fine. So now comes the tricky part. Well, not right now because round 35, 36, uh, that's still just this glue gunner. So you can just fast forward all of that. It is no problem at all. But round 37, that is your first real problem because you have to have fast fingers for that one. Not really fast, not like we will see in the future of this, but uh, I, I won't spoil it for now because it is going to be, yeah, I was so glad I pulled it off. Anyway, um, 36 then, yeah, as you can see, no problem. 
37 coming in. Okay, you can fast forward through this first part up until you see the lead balloons because once you see the lead balloons, slow it down as I did here, select it and hover over the cell button. There will be uh, some zebra balloons coming in, but once the zebra balloons stop, which is now, you sell this one, you build a uh, dartling gunner, which is N for the short key, you upgrade it to one and one, not further, one and one, and you try to hit all of the camo balloons. Obviously, I couldn't really do it, but it is pretty close. Lost a few lives there, but it's not a problem. One and one Dartling Gunner, no more. Because you have to sell it again and you don't want to lose too much money. We're going to once again go into the Glue Gunner here. Come on, you can do it. Yep, yeah, there we go. It is going to be three and two this time. So not two and three, three and two. It's going to be set to strong, but I forgot that. Come on, remember, there you go. I forgot that, so I lost a few more balloons than I should have. Uh, you're going to lose balloons anyway. You're supposed to end up with, well, a, n a number uh, higher than the 57 that I have, but kind of similar. So round 39 is still this glue gunner, so the three and two glue gunner. Uh, there's nothing to upgrade anymore. Uh, yeah, basically what you want to do is just uh, on this wave as well and then we're going on to wave number 40 as you can see there are still lead balloons in this one so the uh, the dartling gunner would not be able to take this out and then round 40 so for round 40 uh, at the end of 39 uh, you're going to switch this out for a three and one dartling gunner there he is three and one come on make it happen and just shoot a little bit under the the mid. It has a little bit of a, well, an error basically to the top and you want to hit as many as possible. So I'm going to take out all of these, no problem. Uh, yeah, this guy is going to stay here up until round 45. At round 45, we're going to switch again, but yeah, this can all be fast forwarded. It is pretty easy once the, uh, ceramic balloons come in however you may want to slow it down so like in way 40 you had ceramic balloons those are kind of crappy to deal with because they have a lot of layers and you don't want that you, do, you don't want to deal with that basically so camo balloons yeah they cannot be deal, uh, dealt with um, when you have the oh come on what are you called the glue monkey and here you have to be well a little bit better at it than I am uh, so I switch to the top and then I switch to the bottom. I think I... Oh, I didn't actually lose lives there. Huh. No, you have to be exactly as good as I am. <laughs> I kind of suck with the darts and gunners. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you want to switch between top and bottom uh, to get all of the balloons. Uh, anyway, we're going to sell it. Round 45 we're going to do with a glue gunner at 2 and 3. And once again, the edge of the range has to hit the, well, the first part of the course. It's two and three, so it's going to take out every single balloon in this round pretty easily. And hopefully, well, everything will pop before the exit. Yeah, it will all pop before the exit. That's no problem. And as you can see, it is, uh, yeah, it's a pretty easy round for this guy. He really doesn't have any problems with this. So the reason, yeah, is here, the reason why you uh, have to switch to glue is right there, there are once again the lead balloons incoming and you can't shoot lead balloons with a three and two. So this is the round. This is the round that it all goes to. What you want to do is build a zero four cannon, immediately use the Moab Assassin ability immediately sell the cannon and build a three and one glue uh, with the dartling gunner and as you can see it can be done we will see at the end of the, uh, the thing so at the end of the video i will put in my previous attempts it can be done as you can see but you have to know the shortcut the shortcut for the dartling gunner is the n uh, from uh, i don't know uh, 
nicotine. Uh, I don't know what the N is, uh, what the official word for the N is, but it's all good. Um, so yeah, you want to hit the N, then hit the uh, comma three times and hit the dot once. So you have a three and one. And with that, you should be able to survive these rounds pretty easily. Uh, as I said, I suck with the Darkling Gunner, so yeah. But that reaction is very crucial because if you re react like a second later you will not make it so make sure that you that you're up to that i mean it's not very difficult it's just that i didn't expect the first time for it to be that quick because normally the the lower level other oh, sorry the higher level balloons aren't that quick uh, but ceramic balloons are pretty quick. So anyway, at the end of round 48, so beginning round 49, we're going to build a 3 and 0 airplane. 3 and 0, don't upgrade the other one. And basically we're going to make it 4 and 0 as soon as we can. And you have to be a little bit lucky, I was rather unlucky there. So also because I lost some balloons in previous rounds. Uh, so it took me like a fraction of a second longer and therefore the targeting is completely out of whack but I st still have 32 lives remaining here and I will need a few of them because now I have 16 remaining because the airplane kind of sucks but it's the only way to get the two Moabs down without having to switch five times so anyhow we do get it with 16 lives remaining I'm pretty sure it can be reproduced because well I've done it before and um, yeah, this is, um, this was, well, I think the hardest one that I've ever done because of the, the, the amount of time I had to invest to actually uh, get this. And by the way, I lost about 4,000 monkey money. I sent an email to them because yesterday's, uh, well, if you watched yesterday's, you will have noticed um, my, um, um, my, my game actually locked me out while I was purchasing this so I, I didn't get my Bloomsday devices I didn't get my meerkats but I did lose the money for it which was about 4,000 monkey money anyhow this was round 46 the first time I tried it and I was like okay I'll put it right next to the buy thing but you don't have to do that you need to know that N is the one that you need N and I ha don't, don't have it selected, so this is going to go terrible because I have to reselect it now. You want to select it because then you can hit the. And of course, space is. Uh, yeah, and here, look at the amount of time I'm spending on everything. Yep, and there you go. Already lost. <laughs> okay, second attempt. And remember, this is round 46, so you've done like. 15 minutes of play already and then this happens <laughs> oh man i was so pissed so i decided to go with this i'm setting this up but you need to know the hotkey is n because otherwise you're going to be screwed i knew the hotkey was n here because i looked it up and here we go getting this but i for some reason couldn't hit the n it was so stupid so i placed it in the wrong position and I'm almost going to get it, but yeah, that's not nearly good enough. Ah, <sighs> so bad. Anyway, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Cheating!